Hey guys, welcome back, and today we're going to do a review on the 5th generation iPad. It is for $329 at Best Buy, Target, or on Amazon. Do some quick specs. It is available in three colors, space gray, gold, and silver, Wi-Fi, or Wi-Fi and cellular device capacity of 32 gigabytes as I have on this one as well as 128 gigabytes if you uh, need the extra space the size is 9.4 inches of height the width is 6.6 .6 inches it is a t I believe it's the first generation of I t I touch with the fingerprint sensor which is nice but it's not nearly as fast or as fluid as the newer one that's in the iPhone 6 or 7 or I believe the newer versions of the iPod or iPad but it's very uh very fast I like it that way the uh camera is a 1.2 megapixel camera on the front with an 8 megapixel camera on the back it has autofocus panorama all the fancy stuff I do not believe it has um any of the newer features I believe those are coming out on iOS 11, but it has an A9 chip, with uh, which is better than the iPhone Air 1 or 2, I believe. They had the, I, the A8, so it's a little faster than the uh, iPad Airs. This is basically the, the body of an iPad Air 1 with all the interior specs and processors of the iPad Air 2. So it's pretty fast. Um, a couple of the features that I liked. It's it's very fluid, as I said. It's very fluid. This is just my first iPad uh, iPad I've gotten. So I thought this would be a good uh, entry level one. It's the newest one that came out. They discontinued the iPad Air, at least the name for right now. So I decided on just sticking with this. The cool part about this that I like is the fact that you can. Uh, you can do the the quick photos and everything of um, the the multi window oh, I can, a multi window thing that I had in uh, Samsung for a while. So this is a thing that's newer. It's it's quicker than what Samsung had, where you would have to individually go to a uh, an app and then click on a different uh, icon to bring up another one and it goes and only certain amounts of apps do it but it's quicker faster as I said it came it comes in 128 gigabytes but I got the 32 gigabytes because I have online storage that I can just switch on to but the thing about this that I've heard about is as I said the first generation uh, fingerprint sensor which is decent enough but as well as the uh, there is, it's not, there's a, I believe, if you look very closely, the, there's not that anti-glare of the newer iPads that are coming out, but it's very nice altogether, I believe, it is, um, the, I believe the, the resolution is upwards of possibly 300 pixels per square inch. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I'm I'm not into that types of specs. But it's altogether the 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 colors are very vibrant in the opinion. It does have auto focus, the auto uh, brightness, which I like, and it keeps I believe ten hours of charge, more or less, depending on how f how much you use it. I basically got this. It's what I wanted to do is laptop chain use this as my complete laptop. Get sell my old laptop, bring get a really good iPad Pro, but after a while, it's gonna be my laptop away from home. I'm not gonna get rid of my laptop I have now. It's a decent laptop, and it's just easier to have the the keyboard and all the the Windows uh, tasks and gestures and stuff that really just it it keeps the iPads from becoming just the, the takeovers of laptops, but it's going to be my away from home if I have to go travel or anything, go home to visit friends or family or go traveling. It will be my laptop away from home. It, it's, it does all the tasks that you need. Um, 
It does not work with Apple Pen, that's only for the newest iPad Pro, as well as the smart keyboard. But you can get any type of Bluetooth keyboard, which I have an Anchor uh, Bluetooth keyboard, and it's a very fast and nice compact uh, Bluetooth keyboard that you connect basically to Bluetooth and go from there. So you can you don't need any of the newer techs or anything. Uh, you can get any type of case or any type of stylus or whatever you want with it. But altogether, I do like it. The 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 matted part is really just the great part I like about it. It's the matted, so you don't see your fingerprints, you don't see smears or smudges or anything. It does have dual speakers on one side, which is nice in my opinion. It does. I I've, I've done FaceTime with it so far, and it keeps the it has a very nice microphone and the speakers are very nice and they're pretty loud for uh, just dual speakers. It would have been nice to possibly have a speaker on either side to make it more of a surround system, but for the price that I paid, it is perfectly fine with me. I believe the it's an 8 megapixel camera, as I said. I'm not going to be using it for a picture, taking pictures, but it's going to be decent in case I need it. It has the, uh, the the jack on one side. It has the microphone I believe right here and then on uh, the power button and of course the uh, the volumes. The sensor, the sensor is pretty fast. It's uh, it works pretty well. I'm gonna just uh, go on and say that it's, it's pretty much a very nice if you needed an upgrade uh, I've heard that if you have an iPad 2 already iPad Air 2 it's not a huge upgrade from that so if you have an iPad Air 2 or an iPad Air you should just kind of keep that unless you have the money or in or want to trade in for it. but if you want an entry-level iPad which I personally needed this is great for that it's fast it's not the fastest but it's great all all together and I primarily got this because of the iOS 11 update that's coming out in the fall I heard it's going to be overhauling much of the iPad Air iOS 10 update and just gonna make it 10 times more friendly and uh, user inference is just gonna be uh, upgraded drastically so that's going to be fun to look for uh look for that in the fall i believe the beta may be coming out towards the end of this month early next month but all together i would say if you're looking for an entry-level ipad air and you have the money i would truly let recommend the ipad air ipad fifth generation which is pretty much, I believe, the iPad Air 3 if they didn't get rid of that iPad Air line. But altogether, I would truly recommend this. And if you liked this video or thought it would be nice, leave a like and subscribe for more tech or electronic reviews in the future. Alright, peace out guys.